Every one of us networks every day and we connect with new people. And as we connect with new people, we work to build meaningful relationships. But how do you go about building that meaningful relationship? How do you move somebody from that connect stage to the get to know you stage? How do you display credibility so that they want to know more about you and you want to know more about them? And that's what this video is about, displaying credibility. Six essentials to help you display credibility. Hi, I'm Laura Burford, here with the Consulting Insight. If you're interested in more Consulting Insights, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. Clicking on the bell will notify you when the next video is available. And if you like this video, please click the like button. It helps me know what topics are of interest to you. Six essentials to help you display credibility. The first is crafting a grabbing message. Crafting a message that explains who you help and what you help them with, as well as the result and benefit. I help who? With what? What problems do you solve? What opportunities do you help them with? And here is the result and benefit. You might even want to include your how in your message. What does that journey look like? How do you move them from where they are to where they want to be? And that leads to the second essential, your how. Your point of view as to how you're going to take them on that journey. How you're going to move them from where they are today to where they want to be. If you want to know more about what your point of view looks like and what to include in your point of view, check out the video on this channel or check out an article that's out on the Medium Network. I'll add links below to help you find them. The third is this. Can people find you? It's great to have a message and it's great to be able to articulate how you can help somebody, but can somebody find you? One of the easiest ways is to make sure they can find you on the internet. Go in and type in your name. Are you on the first page or are you on the fifth page? Do you have social presence? Think about where your ideal client hangs out. If they hang out on LinkedIn, make sure you have a page on LinkedIn. If they hang out on Facebook, make sure you have a page on Facebook. If they hang out someplace else, have a page there as well. And as you craft and you put your message out on that page, make sure it ties to your grabbing message. Make sure you have an up-to-date picture if that site enables you to post a picture. A question I'm frequently asked is, don't I need a website? This is my opinion. Some people agree with me on this and other people don't. If you're just starting out, you might not want a website yet. You might not be clear on your focus and ideal client and you might be strapped for money. Don't spend your money on a website yet. But make sure your LinkedIn profile or Facebook page or whatever other platform your ideal client uses is up to date and is accurate. And as you craft your message on whatever page, whichever social media platform you use, make sure you think about your client and write your message for your client. And again, it needs to tie to your grabbing message. The fourth essential, testimonials and endorsements. Testimonials and endorsements are easy to get, particularly if you do a great job. Your testimonial endorsement should tie back to your focus, should tie back to your message. If you need any help determining what a good testimonial looks like, there's a video out on this channel. I used to struggle to get testimonials until I changed my thought process a little bit. And when I changed my thought process, it also made it easier for me to provide testimonials to other people. I think of testimonials as thank you notes. If somebody's done a great job for you, guess what? I'm more than willing to give a testimonial, an endorsement. The fifth essential. The fifth essential are case studies or stories. 
It's very easy to tie your stories and case studies to your testimonials. And here's the thing. You don't need many testimonials or endorsements or case studies or stories. You just need a few. But the stories or case studies, whatever you want to call them, need to tie to your focus. They need to tie to how you help people and the results and benefits you can provide. You want to start by articulating what is their problem. Next, you want to provide some kind of synopsis, some kind of summary as to what their journey looked like. And you want to end with the result and benefit. And the sixth, content. Now before you say, that means I have to write, I have to speak, I have to create a podcast or a video. No, it doesn't. There's tons of content available. But what you need is you need content that's relevant and up to date, current, that matches your ideal client's needs. You want to make sure you can provide content that displays that you understand their needs and the problems and you understand how the world is changing and what they might encounter going forward. The content could be something from Harvard or McKinsey or an industry study. It can be a local blog article. Take into account who is your ideal client and what type of content they might be interested in hearing about, that they might be interested in discussing with you. Here's one key recommendation. Come up with a few standards, a few standard content items that you might want to provide to your ideal client or recommend to your ideal client. For example, one book that I recommend to anybody starting out in consulting is The One Thing by Gary Keller. Six key essentials, all of which are easy to do to help you move forward and display credibility. If you have any questions or anything you want to comment on, please jot it down below. I promise I'll respond. As you network and you connect with people, you want to build meaningful relationships. But how do you do that? How do you move somebody from that connect stage to that get to know stage where you get to know one another? To help you display credibility, there are some key essentials you want to have in place. The first, a grabbing message. The second, you want to be able to explain your point of view. What does the journey look like? The third, you want to have some social presence. You want to be found. The fourth, you want to have some testimonials and endorsements. The fifth, some stories, some case studies, and you can tie the stories and the case studies to your testimonials and endorsements. And the sixth, you want to have meaningful, relevant, and up-to-date content. Content that displays you understand their needs and you understand what's going on around them. Are they, only, are they the only things you might want to have? No. You might want to have a professional email address. You might want to write your own content. You might want to speak. You might want to have some additional intellectual property besides your point of view. And yes, your point of view is part of your intellectual property. Again, if you have any comments, please jot them below. If you would like some additional insights such as this, please subscribe on the channel and click on the bell to be notified when the next video is available. And click on the like button if you like this video. And now, signing off until next time. Take care.